So when you say SEO versus social media, right? It's the big match fight. Well, you know, they're not fighting against each other. They're actually working with each other. Remember social media, they're search engines. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Today we're gonna to talk about the ultimate fight, right? SEO versus social media, ding, ding, ding. Well, guys, let's not think about it that way. It's not one or the other. It's how they come together that matters. So let's take a step back. Search engine optimization has been around for well over a decade. And I spent my formative years at Yahoo really looking at buyer behavior, the keywords, how long those keywords are, when do they buy and when do they not buy. So that's a different sort of pulse. So there's a pulse of SEO, right? I can feel it, I can see it in the keyword data, and therefore I create content that matches that heartbeat, if you will. Now let's translate that over to social media. Social media is that, that in the moment posting of what's happening in my life, what I'm doing, where I'm going, what I'm a thought leader in. So if I wanna be an expert in my field, of course I'm going to write content that is going to be findable. That's the SEO piece. But then all the elements in that content can then be repurposed to social media. Now, I can slice and dice my blog and make it all different kinds of social media posts. So let me show you about the path that you should consider taking as a business owner. The first thing you need to do is think about the website first. That is what you are an expert. It is your platform, it is your definitive thesis on what you are an expert in. Then we bump to the blog. The blog is an ongoing commentary of what you know that's happening right now in your business. A blog is a web log, a log of a diary of what's happening. Here's where we're going. Here's what we see in the, in the news. Here's the, the conferences we're attending. Here's our booth number. Whatever is happening, the blog should be reporting on that. Then we take the blog and we share it to social. That's peer validation. We like it, we subscribe to it, we follow it, we share it. That is the ultimate indicator to Google that people are resonating with your blogs or your content, therefore that validates your website. So let me recap, you're an expert in your space. You've got your website, that's your definitive thesis. Then I go to your blog, that's the ongoing research that keeps me on my A game. And then when I share that blog to social, that's when it becomes peer validated. And that's so important that we get the likes and the subscribes and the followers because that means it's resonating. People are liking it, they're commenting it, they're following it. Speaking of commenting, make sure to post a comment below. What have you found in your digital marketing strategy between SEO and social media? How have they played a role in your overall marketing strategy? I watch those comments and I will definitely give you my feedback. Go ahead and do that now. As you can see, I love what I do, and I love empowering business owners to get findable online. We've got clients that are small mom and pops that rank right under Amazon and Alibaba. You can do it. This is why we have our Findability Accelerate Retreats. Every quarter, we have two and a half days of total nerd town. We geek out on all the best keyword research tools and how you can set your digital strategy to include your website, your blog, and your social media. So when you leave, you have a whole 90-day plan ready to execute. Check out our website, findability.com retreat, and I'll see you at our next workcation.